Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Space Chase. My name's Aubrey and I'm going to be your host as we talk about the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Make sure to stick around all the way to the end to meet our planetarium mascot, Rascal, and a new special guest. Jupiter is the first gas giant we have talked about so far, meaning scientists don't think there is any solid ground and that the whole planet is made out of gases like hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has a very thick atmosphere and was likely on its way to becoming a star, but just never quite got hot enough. Like I said earlier, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Here's a photo of Jupiter next to the Earth so you can see just how large it is. Also, if Earth were the size of this kernel of corn, Jupiter would be as large as this ball. Look at the time! It's time to head over to MJ with the Mythology Minute. Speaking of Mars' dad, on to Jupiter. In Roman mythology, Jupiter was known as the king of the gods. Which makes sense because Jupiter is the biggest planet. Jupiter was the god of thunder and lightning, which makes sense because Jupiter the planet has this great red spot or this storm that's been raging on its surface for years and years and years. Thanks, MJ. Because the length of a day is determined by how fast a planet spins, Jupiter's day is only about 10 hours. There are two more interesting facts about Jupiter that we're going to cover today. Here for the first one is our special guests, Abby and Rascal. Hello everyone, I'm Abby and this is Rascal and we are here to talk to you all about Jupiter's moons. So scientists believe that Jupiter has 79 moons and they have been able to photograph many of them, including Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Europa is actually the place in our solar system which is most likely to have life on it, according to NASA. This is believed to be true because Europa is covered in ice, and scientists believe there may be liquid water underneath. If Europa's ice were to melt, it would be more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. And that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so this is very exciting because we all know that water is something that all living creatures need to live, including bacteria. And Rascal absolutely loves swimming around in, in his water, so I'm sure he would have an absolute blast on Europa. Ugh, wouldn't you, dude? Yeah. See? He wants to go swimming right now. He's so excited. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for listening, and I hope you enjoyed. And that's all we have for today on Space Chase. Like always, there is an email listed in the description below where you can send in any questions you have about space that we'll answer in season two. There's also resources down below where we got all of our information, so make sure to check all that stuff out. I hope you'll join us again next week for our next episode on Saturn. Bye!